Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. This is the fifth part of multi-part mini video series on how to configure multi-site Active Directory infrastructure with Windows Server 2022. In the previous video, we learned about various components on Active Directory replication. In this video, let's take a look at the types of Active Directory replication. There are two types of Active Directory replication based on site topology, intrasite replication and intersite replication. In intrasite replication, all the domain controllers inside the same site will replicate with each other. In intersite replication, selected domain controllers from two different sites will replicate during specified interval. Domain controller, which is assigned for replication over the site, is called bridgehead servers. This is the taste lab which we are using in this mini video series on multi site Active Directory deployment. We have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com with two Active Directory sites. We have total three domain controllers in our domain, two in Suratecho site and one in Delhi Bio site. Intersite replication occurs automatically on the basis of change notification. Intersite replication begins when you make a directory update on a domain controller. By default, the source domain controller waits 15 seconds and then sends an update notification to its closest replication partner. If the source domain controller has more than one replication partner, subsequent notifications go out by default at 3 seconds interval to each partner. After receiving notification of a change, a partner domain controller sends a directory update request to the source domain controller. The source domain controller responds to a request with a replication operation. The 3 second notification interval prevents the source domain controller from being overwhelmed with the simultaneous update request from its replication partners. But for some of the directory updates, domain controllers will not wait for 15 seconds for replication. The situation is called urgent replication. Some of the directory updates such as assigning of account lockouts and changes in the account lockout policy, the domain password policy or the password on a domain controller account etc are the example for urgent replication. Within this site, the replication connections are performing in ring topology. Intersite replication utilizes the RPC protocol to convey replication data over fast, reliable network connections. With intrasite replication, replication data is not compressed. In this example, SRT22-DC01 and SRT22-DC02 domain controllers are in the same active directory site. They will have intrasite replication connections between them. Intersite replication occurs between replication partners in two different Active Directory sites. This type of replication has to be manually configured. Intersite replication occurs between two domain controllers that are called bridgehead servers. The role of a bridgehead server is assigned to at least one domain controller in a site. A bridgehead server in one site deals with replicating changes with other bridgehead servers in different sites. You can configure multiple bridgehead servers in a site. With intersite replication, packets are compressed to save the bandwidth. This will place additional CPU load on a domain controller which is configured as a bridgehead server. Bridgehead server should therefore be a machine that have enough speed and processes to perform the replication. Active Directory preserves bandwidth between sites by minimizing the frequency of replication and by allowing you to schedule the availability of site links for replication. By default, intersite replication takes place over site links by a polling method which is every 180 minutes by default. You can modify this replication interval and it can be brought down till 15 minutes. 
but it always recommended to keep the default interval because the inter-site replication occurs between WAN links. Hence, reducing the replication interval could cause high network traffic and latency on WAN links. By default, a site link is accessible to carry replication 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and you can also change this if necessary. A bridge server is a domain controller that is manually used for inter-site replication. You can configure a bridge server for every site that is created for each inter-site replication protocol. This helps to control the domain controller that is used to replicate information to other domain controllers. Let's find out our current intra-site and inter-site replication links. Let's go to a Surat root DC SRT22-DC01 VM. On the server manager, click on tools and select active directory sites and services. We want to check the status of active directory replication between our all three domain controllers. On the Surat HO site, expand SRT22-DC01 and click on NTDS settings. Right click on NTDS settings, all tasks, and click on Check Replication Topology. Click on OK. Right click and select a Refresh. Right click on Automatically Generated Link from DC02 to DC01 and select Replicate Now. This is intra-site replication link from DC02 to DC01. ADDS has replicated the connection. Click OK. Here we can see it is coming from SRT22-DC02 and from the Surat HO site. So currently, uh, this will look like this. On SRT22-DC01, we have one incoming replication link from DC02. Let's again go back to SRT22-DC01 and now expand SRT22-DC02 and click on NTDS settings. Right click on NTDS settings, all tasks and select check replication topology. Click OK, right click and select Refresh. Here we have two automatically generated replication links. Right click on automatically generated replication link from DC01 to DC02 and select Replicate Now. This is intra-site replication link from DC01 to DC02. Click OK. ADDS has replicated the connection. Now right click on automatically generated replication link from DC03 to DC02 and select replicate now. This is inter-site replication link from DC03 to DC02. This time you will see a different message. It says this is the inter-site replication link so EDDS will attempt to replicate this connections. Click OK. We can confirm the first link is coming from our Surat HO site and the second link is coming from our Delhi branch office site. So our topology will look like this. On SRD22 DC01, we have one inbound replication link and one outbound replication link. Same for SRD22 DC02, we have one inbound replication link from DC01 and inbound replication link from DC03. Now let's again go to SRT22-DC01 VM. Now expand Delhi BO site, expand servers, expand Dell22-DC03 server and click on NTDS settings. Right click on NTDS settings and select all tasks and click on check replication topology. Click OK. Right click and select refresh. Right click on automatically generated link from DC01 to DC03 and select Replicate Now. This is inter-site replication link from DC01 to DC03. Since this is an inter-site replication link, ADDS will attempt to replicate this connection. Click OK. Under Site, we can confirm this link is coming from our Surat HO site. Let me again show you the current topology. At the moment, the replication topology of our multi-site Active Directory infrastructure looks like this. Since we haven't defined the bridge server in Surat HO site, 
DC3 is sending replication data to DC02 but receiving replication data from DC01. This replication topology is not the optimal one. To fix this, we will manually define the bridge edge server in both sides. Let's go back to SRT22 and DC01 VM. On the Surat HO site, click on Servers. We can confirm that none of the servers are configured as a bridgehead server. In Surat site, we want to set up DC01 as a bridgehead server. Right click the SRT22 DC01 and select Properties. Select the protocol for which this server should be bridgehead. Select IP and click on Add. Click on Apply and OK. Right click and select Refresh. Now again click on Servers. We can confirm that now DC01 is configured as a bridgehead server for Surat HO site. Under BO site, click on Servers. We can also confirm that Delhi branch of his site doesn't have a bridgehead server. In Delhi site, we want to set up our only domain controller DC03 as a bridgehead server. Right click Dell22 DC03 and select properties. Select IP and click add. Click on apply and OK. Click on servers. We can confirm that now DC03 is also configured as a bridgehead server for Delhi branch of his site. Now we want to force the KCC service to immediately recalculate the inbound replication topology. By default, each domain controller performs this recalculation at every 15 minutes. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. At PowerShell, type cmdelete wrap admin slash kcc site colon surat hu. This command targets all domain controllers in the surat hu site and triggers the kcc to run on each domain controller. Hit enter key to re-evaluate the replication topology. Now type cmdelete wrap admin slash kcc site colon delhi hyphen bo. Hit enter key to re-evaluate the replication topology in Delhi branch of his site. Now let's again check the replication topology. Let me clear the screen. Type cmdelete wrap admin slash istg srt22 dc01. This command shows the inter site topology generator for a specific site. Hit enter key to run the command. As we can see, for Surat HO, DC01 is the ISTG server and for Delhi branch office, DC03 is the ISTG server. Go back to Active Directory Sites and Services window. Click on Sites and select Refresh. Expand Delhi branch office site, expand Servers. Expand Dell 22-DC03 and click on NTDS Settings. Right click on NTDS Settings, All Task and click on Check Replication Topology. Click on OK. Right click and select Refresh. Right click on Automatically Generated Replication link from DC01 to DC03 and select Replicate Now. This is Intisite Replication Link from DC01 to DC03. Click OK. Currently, we have configured DC01 and DC03 as a bridgehead server. On DC03, we have one inbound replication link from DC01. Let's go back to the VM. Expand Surat HO site, expand servers, and expand SRT22 DC01 and click on NTDS Settings. Right click on NTDS Settings, All Task, Check Replication Topology. Click on OK, right click and select Refresh. As you can see, now we have two automatically generated replication link, one from Surat HO site and another from Delhi branch of his site. Earlier, we had only one replication link which was coming from DC02. Right click on automatically generated link from DC02 and select replicate now. This is intrasite replication link from DC02 to DC01. We can see message EDDS has replicated the connection. Click OK. Right click on automatically generated replication link from DC03 
and select replicate now. This is indecide replication link from DC03 to DC01. Since this is an indecide replication link, ADDS will attempt to replicate this connection. Click OK. Under From Sites, you can confirm that one link is coming from Surat HO site and the second link is coming from Delhi branch of his site. Let's take a look at the current replication topology. Now we have this type of replication topology. On DC01, we have one outbound replication link and one inbound replication link from DC03 and we also have one intrasite replication link coming from DC02. Since we have configured the SRT22-DC01 as a bridged server for Surat HO site, now we have two replication connection. One intrasite connection from SRT22-DC02 and one intersite connection from DAL22-DC03. Now let's go back to VM again. Expand SRT22-DC02 and click on Enter DS settings. Right click on Enter DS settings, all tasks and select check replication topology. Click on OK. Right click and select refresh. Right click on automatically generated replication link from DC01 and select replicate now. This is intrasite replication link from DC01 to DC02. ADDS has replicated the connection. Click OK. Let's take a look at the current replication topology. At the moment, the replication topology of our multi-site active directory infrastructure looks like this. Any replication data from Delhi branch office will first come to DC01 and then DC01 will distribute that data into Surat HO site. Let's go back to our VM. Under SRT22 and DC01, click on Enter DS settings. Right click on Enter DS settings and select properties. Go to connections tab. DC01 is replicating data from DC02 and DC03. And also, DC01 is replicating data to DC03 and DC02. We have high speed network connection in our test lab, so replication will be faster. Changes will be reflected instantly in our test lab. In production environment, these changes will take time based on connection speed and replication schedule. That's all for this video on how to deploy multi-site Active Directory infrastructure with Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.